And two people have been charged with first degree murder after an Ontario provincial police officer was fatally shot yesterday afternoon. It happened just outside of Hagersville in southern Ontario. And as Nicole Di Donato tells us, the death of Constable Greg Pierschawa is hitting close to home for the family of a fallen Calgary police officer. A procession Tuesday evening as OPP Constable Greg Prashala's body was driven from the Hagersville Hospital to Toronto for an autopsy. It was devastating to hear that one of our officers had been shot so violently. Uh, that is not something that uh, we are used to in Haldeman County at all. Police say the 28-year-old constable was responding to a call about a vehicle in a ditch around 2.40 Tuesday afternoon when he was shot and killed. Two suspects were on the run. He was just face down on the ground. I didn't see anything else. I thought... I thought he was hit. I didn't realize it was a shooting. Within hours, 30-year-old Brandy Stewart Sperry and 25-year-old Randall McKenzie were arrested. They appeared in court on Wednesday. Each are facing a charge of first-degree murder. This was Prashala's first shift working on his own. Who was with us for just over a year and today just received his sign-off on what we call his 10-month probation and had the good news that he would be patrolling independently. The death is hitting close to home for Jason Harnett. His brother Andrew was a Calgary police officer who died almost two years ago after being dragged by a fleeing SUV and falling into the path of an oncoming car on New Year's Eve. Every time you go through a police shooting, uh, you relive this. What's worse, both Jason and Andrew grew up in Hagersville and Jason still lives there. This all happening in our, our neighborhood, literally this time, it's, it's just unreal. It's uh, it, it, it's really troubling. This comes at an especially difficult time of year for Calgary Police Service members. You get hear about these incidents that are far, far too frequent in our society these days. And um, you can't help but be heartbroken. Calgary police officers will be wearing blue memorial ribbons to honor Prashala's sacrifice. Jason is encouraging others to do the same and to display blue lights like what was done for his brother. Those little pieces of support uh, really go a long way for the family. Uh, it certainly helped us get through a lot of difficult time. Nicole DiDonato, CTV News, Calgary. And Jason Harnett says the shine a blue light effort on New Year's Eve is in support of all first responders and those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Funeral details for Constable Pierschawa will be announced in the coming days. Let's